on the web. Usually he has funny stories, but we're going to start this morning with a more serious one that caught his eye. Really sad. Oh. It involves a woman whose husband died in a car accident. So this is kind of like a worst case scenario. Uh, a woman was in traffic. Uh, Karen Johnson was stuck in traffic and she was tweeting, as one would when they're not doing anything, uh, about how frustrating it was. She couldn't get anywhere. And then things started to click for her as people started responding to her that she hadn't heard from her husband in a while. And so she started trying to get a hold of him, and he wasn't answering his phone. So she started actually tweeting at the state troopers. They realized what was going on, and they actually expedited the process to find out who was in the accident. And this went on for about an hour or so until she realized that it was her husband mm. that had caused the traffic jam and, and he had died. He had, uh, it was a head-on collision. Oh, and people are reaching out though to try to help her. Th they are. Um, a lot of people are sending a lot of support. Uh, she's locked down her Twitter and put it private, uh, you know, because the attention well, is just a lot. Yeah. Um, obviously users were horrified um, and it's, it's very rare that that would ever happen, but it's just so horrible when it actually does. Oh, such a sad story. Well, now to this one. Uh, a TV producer went viral after he live tweeted about an in-flight feud that he had with the woman. Yes. So tell us more about this one. So uh, Elon Gale is a producer for uh, The Bachelor and The Bachelorette and uh, he started going very viral over Thanksgiving when he claimed that he was sitting in front of a woman named Diane in 7A and she was very rude and very demanding so he started getting in an actual fight with her. This was right before Thanksgiving. Yes, he's traveling to Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's handing her notes claiming all these uh, rude things about her. And he even sent her a glass of wine initially and took a picture of it right. and said maybe this will shut you up. Yeah, all of, the, all of this oh fake, fake stuff we found out <laughs> because he revealed this week that it was all a hoax he had tweeted out, I have a big announcement, it's going to be a big deal, you're going to finally get to meet Diane. And then he tweeted out a picture of an empty chair and said, this is Diana. He didn't even spell the name right. He had forgotten the fake name he had made up. Wow. And there's not really any clear reason why. Um, sometimes fake stuff just happens to pick up enough interest that we can't turn it off on, online, unfortunately, and this was just one. This well, is just Pandora's box. I'm you guys a, with your Twitter, you're going to see more of this stuff. I followed him after it because I was like, wow, this guy's really funny, uh -huh. you know, so I'm one of the extra 60,000 followers that he People gained. were flocking to see him take down this very rude woman, and then more people started making up stuff about her. What, uh, one <laughs> blog claimed that she was a cancer patient. <gasps> oh, and my oh, gosh, man. that's horrible. It, it, it just spiraled out of control. Mr. Completely. Broderick? Yes. Um, how do we know that the tweet saying it's a hoax isn't a hoax? That is a very good question. Mm -hmm. um, and if that is a hoax, he should just be banned from Twitter. We should yes. just take the internet yes. away from him. He's, he's manipulating he's us. Abusing. Yes. He's Yes, he's, <laughs> he's manipulating our emotions. You know what the social media needs? They need more cuteness. Yes. Please give me some cuteness. Speaking of manipulating our emotions, uh, a real-life story of a fox and a hound that are friends is coming out of Norway. We disco uh, BuzzFeed discovered this photographer <gasps> who is taking care of a dog that has a best friend named Sniffer. Oh. It's Teeny the dog. Good Lord, looks Sniffer. like they're doing a little more than Sniffer. Yeah, they're doing a little too far. But they are best friends on. and they hang out in the woods all the time. Um, what does the fox say? <laughs> See, that's the one thing. The dog can bark. We still are not sure what the fox is trying to say. Please, please stop. <laughs> this does solidify my theory that 2013 is the internet fox year. Yeah. This is the year of the fox. Oh my gosh, but these are beautiful pictures. Look at them hanging yeah. out. It's, I love this. They're, they're yeah. turning the photos into a children's book, actually. They are? And some of the proceeds will go towards uh, making sure fur trappers don't, you know, endanger fox populations. So. Well, there you go. That's beautiful. Yeah. Well, now it is December and it's like, you know, the end of the year recaps are upon us. But right. you found something really cool online. Um, my favorite thing of the year uh, is the end of the year mashup. I don't know what it is. I am such a sucker for a DJ that can cram every single song together. I love this stuff. It's yes. really fun. Well, let's take a listen. Yeah. I think we have it here.
amazing. I mean, you can hear the layering of each song. There's like three songs going on all at once. Absolutely, and it goes through different moods where it'll build up to a really big, you know, um, house music beat, and then it'll come down and it'll slow. Uh, when they get to Wrecking Ball, they slow it really down. Well, that's John's favorite oh, song. Yes. Uh, Wrecking Ball. Who put this together? Uh, Daniel Kim put it together. Um, I never actually heard of this work before. Uh, the, the one everyone always talks about is DJ Earworm. That's who I know. Yes, yeah. yeah. And his actually was a little sadder and a little slower. And this I thought was great. It was a really peppy version. It's very upbeat. Could this be released as a single? I would listen to it. It's a little long. I mean, obviously. It's 68 songs put together, which is yeah. pretty incredible. And it's actually tough to figure out what is happening at any point. It's a week and a half long, <laughs> but other than that... But it's a good, danceable week and a half, is. for sure. <laughs> well, he is the man of many memes. I love that. Ryan Broderick <laughs> from BuzzFeed. Thanks so much.